Yes, uh, Miriam Anaka from NHK. I was just wondering whether you could share some more details about what we can expect from Governor Walz's speech tonight. Yeah, listen, I'm not going to get ahead of the governor's speech tonight, but I think what you can expect writ large uh, is sort of a cementing of this introductory frame, right? He's been on the stump for about two weeks so far since the vice president uh, announced him as her running mate, and they've obviously gotten busy crisscrossing the country, going to all the battleground states. Again, you've seen uh, the enthusiasm from the crowds from uh, places like Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Detroit, Phoenix, Nevada, uh, Phoenix, Las Vegas, and then, of course, even last night uh, in uh, right up the road in Milwaukee. And again, as I'll say, we're even more excited about the fact that we're turning that uh, energy and enthusiasm into volunteer action right now. But uh, he's only been on the stump for two months, or two, excuse me, two weeks. And so uh, the vast majority of the American people on a, water, a wider sloth of the electorate is going to have the opportunity to fully understand and get to know who Governor Walls is, right? As somebody who was a uh, school teacher, a football coach, and then uh, obviously has been a congressman and a governor for some time now, uh, the through line there is going to be that Governor Walls has always been somebody uh, who's fought for the vulnerable, who's fought for those in need, uh, who's taken on uh, special interests for the benefit of the people that he represents. And so uh, the American people will have an opportunity to see that in prime time tonight, uh, many for the very first time, and we're excited about it.